Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. Well, based on last month's class, that is the class for the peacock, I thought I would do some testing of gel pens and pencils and let everybody see what the results were based on how they were used relative to fabric medium as well as jacquard no flow, which many of you may know that I include in my fabric medium in order to prevent bleeding. Um, jacquard sells the product for painters to use um, in order to sign their work without a pen bleeding or you know smudging as they um, sign their work. Um, it works very well with uh, ink tense pencils, uh, paints. In fact, I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna turn this and zoom in down here at the bottom. As you can see, you see my list of ink tense pencil um, down to jacquard fabric paint, and those look great. But what I do want to point out is how uh, how it affects gel pens. And all these up at the top are the various different gel pens that I've used. And as you can see across the top of the page is each column represents what I did in order to get the various different colors. Um, just one note right off the bat, some of these do bleed um, quite a bit. Um, for instance, if you look down here at the Copic markers, which were for a long time sold as fabric markers, that is uh, that marine right there bled right off the bat. In fact, I'm going to zoom in really tight. You can see the how it bled right into the um, fibers uh, pretty intensely. Um, however, when it is used with either fabric medium or with the no flow, which is the final column there on the right, no bleeding whatsoever. So uh, the fabric medium worked well with it as well as the no flow. However, if you look above at the pintail sparkle pop, now the first column is the sparkle pop by itself. The second column is sparkle pop with a little bit of fabric medium on top. And I'm noticing a tiny bit of bleeding right there, um, which doesn't make me very happy because we're using sparkle pops quite a bit in the Animals Gone Zen. Um, so we're gonna talk about that a little later. But now if I come over here to look to see where I use Sparkle Pop, um, the third column is with Fabric Medium. Doesn't work well at all. However, Sparkle Pop with No Flow works fantastic. Above is the Sargent Glitter Pins. We haven't used these in class yet, we will be. Um, again, the first column is just the Sparkle Pin by itself. The next column what looks great with Fabric Medium on top of it. The third column is fabric medium underneath, and then the sparkle tent pin on top, not so great. And then finally, the no flow with sparkle pin on top looks great. Um, okay, and then these two up here are the Kaisercraft gel pins, fine by themselves, fine with fabric medium, but oh dear heavens, look at how bad they work on top of fabric medium as well as no flow. Not a good thing to use. Um, so, I'm going to be posting this out on the website. Um, this is going to be kind of under the general category because there's quite a number of people who have bought my kits and who would probably be interested that on in seeing this in addition to all of you who are taking my Animals Gone Zen class. So once you've watched this video, um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me at medinadomarts at aol.com or you can text me at 303-818-3625. Thanks for watching. Bye.